Hi, so I got a question from a student on how to choose colors to avoid color run, which was a new phrase for me, but I think it means when the, the colors you're choosing are too similar to each other that it's kind of getting hard to distinguish them. Yeah, um, and so that is pretty common when we don't choose color as well. The research that we've seen around um, color says that people can distinguish between about four shades of one color before it gets hard for people to discriminate one color from the next. So um, if you're using shades of a color, you could go with up to four. Although I would not choose the lightest one, I'd be careful about that so it doesn't look too much like white if you're using like a white background. That lightest shade needs to be dark enough that it'll contrast with your background of your chart or your slide or whatever it might be. Um, or you can choose totally distinct colors that um, will give you uh, more colors that you could work with in total. So instead of using like four shades of blue, you might pick blue, green, red, and purple. Just of course, making sure that they're different enough from one, each other, one another that your blue isn't gonna start getting mixed up for your purple. So I'm gonna uh, put the link to one of my favorite websites down in the description for this video. It's Color Brewer. And this beautiful site has already done some of this hard work for us. You could you can get shades of colors there or you can just get completely distinct colors there. And they specifically choose colors for you that will be distinguishable from one another. So that would be a great place for you to go and um, check that out. Of course, you're gonna have to use probably some of the colors from your own branding, your own style guides. So sometimes I'll go to Color Brewer to get inspiration for my colors. And then instead of like the exact red that they uh, tell me to use, I'll switch in my company's red or something like that. Keeping in mind, just having this constant filter of are these colors distinct another uh, from, from each other enough that people are going to be able to use it. So your final test, of course, is always going to be a little bit of a trial run. So try your own colors out in some different viewing conditions and see if it's working for you. Dim the brightness on your phone and take a look at it that way and see if it still works. Um, so try it out in some real life scenarios before you decide on your colors for certain.